goals. The goals respond to the purpose of the group. Why do we exist? There are two types, at least, of, of goals that you need to keep in mind. We have goals that are set by the curriculum of regroup. Very specific goals that come with the curriculum. You had to do this, this, and that by this and that time. You had to cover this material, right? This, those are things that everyone has to do somehow. But also, there are very personal goals in the group. Now, the problem with the personal goals is that you don't know what they are going to bring as goals. You have, though, to, you have to be able to create some room for them to be able to share some of those personal groups. And then as you hear, there will be some challenges that can be done in front of everyone, but there will be some challenges that you had to do separate from the rest. Things when you need to call Mary, Mary, come here. You know, I heard that you were looking for this particular thing in the group. Let me tell you this, and I don't want to mention that in front of the group because I think this is a very private thing for you. I think this is not the place for that. I wonder if you can probably work in that area by doing this, this other thing or that other thing. Or I can, I can lead you to find some resources for that specifically. It's not going to happen in the group. When you do that, you clarify it, you honor their need, but at the same time you put some boundaries around, then you are avoiding that particular situation that may happen in the future where she's going to be talking about some personal stuff in the group that doesn't pertain to anybody else. When you see people like, oh, yawning, or here we go again. They don't say it, but you see it. You had to call them apart and negotiate with them in a caring but firm way. That has to do with the goals. What are those goals? Now, you had the long-term goals. Again, those, those goals that pertain to the group that are going to be reached, you know, with time. But then you have the specific goals of the session. Every time that you go to a meeting, you need to know the very least what is the minimum that you need to accomplish in that meeting. So tonight, we're going to cover this part of the curriculum. We're going to discuss this thing, and that's it. And you don't only know it, you share it with the group. You don't let the group to start without you saying it. So tonight, we're going to meet, and the plan is this. Boom, and here we go. In just a phrase, you summarize what are the goals for the session. So then everybody knows. Possibly, you can say something like, um, am I missing something? So someone may remind you of something that was said last week that we were going to do this week, but you didn't say in that group. There will be always somebody that will remind you if you miss something. And that's perfect. Or they may share something that they want to happen that, that night that you di didn't have a clue about. It was more like a personal thing. But now you, you heard that, and you can contain it. Rather than letting that happen in the, in the night without you knowing that that was coming. Somebody may offer a goal that was more personal than group-wise, and then you can stop it. Because you can say, oh, that's great. You know, that's a wonderful idea. However, I don't know if that will fit with tonight's goals. Would you mind if we put that on hold for a while? You ask permission, kind of, because basically you're saying we're not going to do it. But you're nice. Most people respond well to that. Most people. There will always be an exception. But that's a way of you somehow controlling how this group may go, kind of setting up defenses around. We're going to move through this space through the night. That has to do with the goals. What are the goals that I'm looking for? What are the goals that I'm pursuing every night?